was out walking by myself. The land was badly eroded. I looked up a small ravine and saw a little cottage just ahead. I noticed a weathered piece of paper stuck to the door. shaking letters for the following words. If you find my baby inside, please bury him. I continued to read. I could not stay here no more. Something has my baby in that house, and I can't get him back. I, do, I don't know what it is, except some kind of light surrounds him. Every time I try to reach into the light and grab my baby, it, it, it gets so hot, it burns my hands, and I don't know, it don't seem to be hurting him none. Some kind of voice keeps coming out of that light, though, and telling me to find the ring. Find the ring. I, I tried to find it. God knows I tried. I, 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 I tore up the, the furniture and I, I pulled up all the floorboards and I even ripped up the wallpaper, but I can't find no ring anywhere. I, I ain't slept for three or four days. And now I don't know what to do except to try and find some help. I, I'm so weak, I, I, I don't know if I can make it back to my poor baby. Please help us, God, because I think we may have wound up in hell, and my poor baby ain't done nothing to deserve this. In the Ray Hawkins. slowly opened the door and walked into the cottage. The interior of the small building was in a state of total chaos. I slowly worked my way through the jumble of broken furniture, loose floorboards, and other rubble. I reached the side of the bassinet. It was strangely spotless, and the top was covered by a clean white blanket. Apprehensively, I reached out. Apprehensively, I reached out. Revealing the perfectly formed skeleton of a baby clutching a wedding ring in its right hand. Horrified. 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 I could only follow the woman's wishes and and bury it. Somehow I managed to drag the bassinet out into the ravine outside. Using a stick in my fingers, I scratched out a shallow hole in the dry dirt.
just as I was about to dump the baby skeleton into it, I noticed some words engraved on the ring. I was so I was so disturbed by the whole incident. I wanted to just leave everything and run home. But I had to examine the ring closer. small bony fingers against my own added the sensation of nausea to my already unsettled stomach but I, I still managed to free the ring as I brought it closer to my eyes I could could make out the words you you hate you hated me but but then it was scratched out I couldn't read the rest. Unable to contain my feelings of fear, I threw the ring and the baby skeleton into the hole, covering him with dirt, and ran home. No one has ever believed my story yet. I tried to convince myself that it must have been a dream, induced by the instability of adolescence. I take comfort from 